it so early. But we going to Moab! Okay, day zero of our trip to Moab. We haven't even started yet. But we've got the truck hooked up to the trailer with three razors on it. And you can see, well, I mean, we're using the term razor lightly because it's, it's Sutherland tube chassis now. So, except the guy that builds tube chassis happens to be in a full body. I, I don't know how that happens. But anyway, we are leaving tomorrow at 6 a.m. It's going to be Thursday. We're going to drive maybe a thousand miles on day one we're gonna try and get to moab at eight nine o'clock at night on day two to be there be done with it and be able to ride for seven days before coming back seven days is a lot of riding even with tube chassis so there's an awful lot of parts going on here I mean, the back of my truck has got two RS1 diffs in it. It's got axles. It's got, we got tires. We got ball joints. We got wheel bearings. We got knuckles. And then H brought this, which is a four foot by eight foot crate full of parts because we know how to party. It's going to be a good time. We're excited about it. I think Ryan's going to get sick of my new horn. Pretty sure that. That's going to be a thing. I also have a nice little surprise plan for Ryan. Yeah. When we show up in Moab, he may not particularly appreciate what I've done to his tube chassis. But I appreciate it. And at the end of the day, as long as I'm happy, everybody's happy. We have seven awesome days of riding planned we are going to hit so many trails exactly everything we hit last year plus more uh, except this time we're all going through the hot tubs and uh i hope to have four-wheel drive the entire trip I mean, not that i'm going to need it much because in moab there's all kinds of grip and uh i don't want rick to think i'm cheating so the 35s have come off and we're running 32s. Everybody's on 32s. Nearly everyone's on 32-inch Zillas. H decided, screw that. Them tires suck. I am going to go with M1 Evils because they've got me everywhere I go. And look at the size of them lugs. We should measure that because there is not going to be much left by Friday next week. But we'll bring you along for the ride. I hope everybody enjoys it. It's going to be some beautiful scenery, some spectacular riding, and an awful lot of fun for us. See y'all later. What's up, guys? Welcome to this year's Moab trip. Uh, Charity and I are in a rental car, and we're about 30 minutes away from Moab. We flew into Grand Junction, and we've been driving for about, I don't know, about an hour or so, and man, I am beat. This is a long drive. Uh, Chris and Ruth are about four Chris, Ruth, Brian, Jessica, and H are all about four hours behind us. Uh, so they're they're on their way. Um, they left like over 30 hours ago. And I, I mean, I don't know what's taking them so long, but um, they'll get there. We'll, uh, we'll have a good trip when they do. Uh, we've got nine days this time. We had six last trip. So we'll have a couple of extra days to throw in there and do a couple of other uh, things that we didn't do last time. So uh, looking forward to it. We uh, fell in love with Moab last year. It was our all of our first trip out here. And the, before we even left, I mean, I was looking and looking for this year. So should be a great trip. Uh, I got the drone. We're going to try to do some, some good video and hope you guys enjoy it and uh, hope to... Uh, Hope to see you out there sometime. Thanks for watching. 
Hey, what's up guys? We are here. Charity and I have been here about three hours. We went to the grocery store. Uh, we're at the VRBO townhouse. We actually have two townhouses this year. Uh, Chris and Ruth and H are staying, and Christy are staying in the one next door. And Charity and I and Brian and Jessica are staying in this one, but check out this view from the, from the living room. It's pretty awesome. It is a beautiful day outside. It's uh, cooled off a little bit when we got here. It was like 98 degrees. But like I said, uh, Charity and I have been here for a while. Uh, the rest of the guys and girls have been driving for more than a while. And they should be here any second now. But look at this view, man. It is gorgeous out here. I mean, you watch videos and see pictures and stuff of all this, but actually, actually being here and seeing it in person is a whole nother world. But we're gonna get started early in the morning. Uh, as soon as they get here, we're gonna get them unpacked. And as soon as we do that, we're gonna go downtown Moab, uh, have some dinner, come home, go to bed early get started early in the morning got a great route plan for every single day this trip we're really gonna have seven days of just back to back to back to back awesome stuff so tomorrow is steel bender behind the rocks going down Pritchard Canyon and then Cane Creek and I see Brian's, no, that's Chris's truck, Chris and Brian. See my Razor, glad it made it here. Glad Chris didn't dump it in Denver like he said he was going to. <laughs> we were excited to get here just from the flight and the two hour drive. I cannot imagine what those guys are feeling right now. Of course, H doesn't follow directions. Oh, that's really nice. That is really nice. I don't know if you can see that on my razor. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> oh, Brian's new chassis. That's another thing we gotta do a video on tomorrow. Brian's new chassis is done. All right, I'm gonna go out there so these guys don't get lost. This is what happens when you let Chris take your razor somewhere. I mean, Dude, come on. No telling what's in the box. They made it! Yeah, your razor's famous now. Yeah, I'm sure. Glad you made it, brother. Good to see you. What's up, Ray? I'm on. All right. This is Vandal. This is the tube chassis that Brian built with literally no time. He did a fantastic job. It's insanely good. He did this after work and on weekends in about a month and a half. I mean, to be fair, I did about half of it. Yeah, Ryan helped a ton. Ryan, uh, Ryan helped by selling him a donor and dropping it off really filthy with uh, half the parts missing. But otherwise, Ryan really did a lot to help. But it looks so good. He's done some different things with the headlights or the fang lights and tail lights. They all look different. Every one of the SLR buggies looks different. It's on 32 inch Zillas, of course, because crawlers for life. Those for life! Look at that wrap. It looks so good. Yeah. I drove it yesterday getting it out of the, uh, getting it off the trailer, and it, man, it's awesome. Like, I thought the visibility was good in mine. It is incredible. Yeah, he took some cues from Jessica's buggy. So from the driver's seat, you can see through the hood to see the tires. It's really good. You go to the parts list? No, I'm gonna let you do that. No, you got it, Chris. All right, it's gonna start with a ZRP pull plate, special carrier's radius rods, 
special carriers trailing arms RCV RCV axles the strongest axles on the planet he went with a standard Polaris 4,500 pound winch because he ain't never going to use it. It just looks good in there. Built the skid plate himself even. PRP Alpha Seat. <clears throat> yep, PRP Alpha Seat. Gear grabber. The gear grabber shifter. The Razorback temp gauge. Yep. He used the rod command. Yeah, it is another Turbo S build with functioning dynamics with shock therapy. Um, right. Shock, yeah, and uh, limit straps. Keller ball joints. Definitely Keller ball joints. It's got a KB3 prop shaft. There's a whole story around that, but in the end, it worked out real good for him. Zebra's dual rate kit. Aftermarket assassins, charge tubes. Running a stage two tune right now. I'm gonna take it down to a stage one to get rid of the whiskey throttle. Just a badass buggy. 27% gear reduction. It's awesome. And it's debuting here in Moab. I can't believe we were he was literally finishing it this morning before our first ride. He was installing the tunnel. It's awesome. What's up guys? We are about to hit the road for day one. <laughs> Today we're gonna do, we're gonna start out at uh, Steel Bender. Then we're gonna go over, go down behind the rocks, then down Pritchard Canyon, then over to Cane Creek, which where we are as far as our VRBO, it's pretty convenient. Cane Creek exit is just right down there. The entrance that we're headed to is just right over there. But we're all ready to go. Got a bunch of clean, good looking machines here, except for Chris's. <laughs> uh, Chris, you ready? I'm ready. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, Mickey's hot tub. Mickey's hot Mickey's tub? Hot <laughs> what about you, H and Ruth? We're gonna wait for uh, Jessica to hit Mickey's hot tub. Yeah, she's going first. I'm just excited to be here, period, because I've yes. never been here before, so everything's going to be good for me. We yep. got AC in here, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for H to see this for the first time. It's going to be really cool. He's going to love it. Charity is riding with Jessica. Y'all ready to go? Yep. Y'all yep. excited? Yep. Seven days of fun? Yep. All right. You going to roll it? No, no, not with me in it. Brian's new beautiful tube chassis. Excited to see how uh, how it does. Brian, you ready? Yes, sir. We look looking forward to the most? I don't know. I loved everything here. Yeah, just being here, man. Look at this. That's right. Beautiful day. All right. Seven days of fun incoming. Stay tuned. Here we go. Start a steel bender.
Here comes your favorite part, Jessica.